Welcome to the second episode of Art of Smart. I am Udit here. Namaste. Well, it was recently in news that the Reserve Bank of India, which is also the country's central bank, reduced the repo rate by 50 basic points to 6.75%. So, what exactly is repo rate, and how does it affect you and the economy? First things first. So, what is loan? Loan or credit refers to an agreement between the lender and the borrower, in which the lender supplies the borrower with goods, services, and money, and the borrower promises to repay the lender in future. So each time we take loan, we have to pay some interest on the principal amount to the lender. We all know that people go to banks for loan, but sometimes a situation arises in which the bank needs money. So the bank approaches the central bank of the country and applies for a loan. That is, if the bank is in India, it would go to RBI and apply for a loan there. Even the banks have to pay interest to the central bank, and this is what exactly repo rate is. Repo rate is the interest rate at which the central bank provides loan to other banks in the country. So in India, the repo rate is 6.75 percent. Before I tell you how does repo rate affect you and the economy, I would like to introduce you to another term, inflation. Well, inflation it is the increase in the price of goods in a country in a particular time period. So it can be there because of two reasons: first, increase in the demand of that goods, and second, decrease in the production of that goods. Let's say that the price of this lock in piece in the first year is 100 rupees, and there was an inflation of 5 percent in the country. Then in the second year, the price of same rocket fuel would become hundred and five rupees. So a citizen ends up paying five rupees extra. With all this said, inflation is bad. Yes? No. As said before, inflation prevails because of two reasons: increase in the production and increase in the demand. So if the former reason is the cause, yes, inflation is bad. But if the second reason, that is the high demand reason, is the cause, inflation is not bad. And this all makes sense because when you demand more, it shows that you are more capable of taking tasks of economic development. You have the money, you have the resources to buy brick, buy cement, and buy anything else to fulfill your aspiration. So in second case, inflation is not bad. Coming back to the main shot of the video, so how does repo rate affect you and the economy? Well, with the reduction in repo rate, it means that the central bank provides loan to other banks in the country at a lesser interest rate, and when this interest rate is less. It means these banks repay the central bank with lesser money than what they paid before, and when they have to repay less, they eventually bring down their own interest rate at which they provide you with loans. And when they bring down their interest rate, this means more people from different economic background can apply for loan. And as more people apply for loan, the demands of goods in a country increases. And as demand increases, there is inflation, which is not bad. And if the government of a country takes steps at the right time, this inflation can be countered by increasing the production of those goods in a country. For all those who didn't follow me in the previous part, I have an example here. So that I am a bank and the central bank gave me a loan of 15 toffees on a condition that I have to repay them 18. So the interest rate they provide me with is 3. Now two people approach me and ask me for a loan of 4 toffees each. So I give them 4 and tell them that the interest rate is 2. So in the end, they have to give me six each. Now another person wanted to take a loan of four toffees, but he couldn't because he had only five rupees. And with my interest and principal adding up, it was six. So he had less money. He couldn't take the loan. So after some time, uh, they gave me my loan. I gave the bank its eighteen and one rupees, the one uh, chocolate that I was left with becomes my profit. So I get to eat this. But now the situation changes. The repo rate has been decreased. So I, as a bank, again apply for a loan to the central bank and get 15 toffees on a condition that I repay them 70. So now the interest rate is two, much lesser than what I paid earlier. Now again, two people come to me and ask for a loan of four toffees. So I give them four and tell them that the interest rate is one, lesser than what I gave them earlier. Now remember the person who had just five rupees and couldn't take a loan last time. He comes to me and takes a loan of four. Now because my principal and interest accumulation is five and he has five rupees. So he can pay me. So all these, after some time, gave me my interest rate along with my principal money. I give the money to the central bank, and I get this one as my profit. So I again, so you just saw how reduction in repo rate can lead to better loaning in a country, leading to increasing demand, better production, and finally adding a positive sign to the GDP of a country. This is the importance of banks and loaning activities in a country, and it is rightly said by Professor Mohammad Yunus that if credit is made available. To Poor people are terms and conditions which are appropriate and reasonable. Then these millions of small people with millions of their dreams can add up to greatest development in the world. Thanks for watching.
Well, this was my second video. For more such informative videos, please subscribe.